in this black box there is no flight data on no there is something that you can add to your bamboo labs 3d printers maybe also some other 3d printers that are similar but what this does is keeping your filament cool before actually reaching the hot zone of your extruder in this video i'm going to install the martillo tech extruder cooler so let's dive right in hey zach here and welcome to this video this is uh one Amazing black box, I already said that. I'm not going to bother you again with that. Some time ago, Martello Tech reached out to me if I was interested in this extruder cooler. I had to ask several times, what is exact purpose of this thing? And basically in some simple explained rules, there's a PTFE tube going from the external fan and cooling unit into the extruder of the Bumble Lab. P1S in my case. You can also use different other uh, 3D printers as well. Check the link in the description of this video to find out which kind of 3D printers you can use this Martillo Tech uh, extruder cooler to. So what it actually does is taking the surrounding air, the ambient air here in my room, in my case, maybe in your, your environment this is a different kind of air. So it is pulling that air inside and then it is going to cool it to a certain temperature. So let's unbox this, see what is inside. And then we are going to assemble it in onto my Bumble Lab P1S. So, what do I think about the Martello Tech Extruder Cooler? I have tried it on my Bumble Lab P1S. I print most of the time, I print PLA, PEG, ABS, different kind of filament types. I do need to say that once I heard about this company, Martello Tech, having an extruder cooler, and they reached out to me if I was interested in this product. And I said, yeah, sure, because I always like to test out new things. My, t my channel is not about the, the benchmarking and, 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 and testing with some graphs and stuff like that. So it's just basically what I see with my eyes and what I notice as a difference. Can I see them? Can I spot them? Well, let's say it like this. For all the years that I printed with PLA and then ABS and PEGI. I sometimes have clocked nozzles, but not really jammed nozzles or hot ends or extruders. So this product advertised for avoiding clocked nozzles, hot ends, extruders. No more jammings. Now, if you think about it, nowadays the 3D printers are more and more enclosed. And for 
PLA prints, they say also keep the door open or remove the lid if you're printing with PLA. Because that is from all the materials you can print with, it's with one with the lowest glass temperature. For me, myself, I really never had any issues in an enclosed 3D printer with jammed extruders. Not really, never. Maybe a hot end that got clogged, but that was more because too close to the bed or some other little things that I had to tweak down in my slicer. But when it comes to the temperature, most of the times I have the door closed on my printers. Also there, no issues. The temperatures inside of my room in the really cold days is like the 21, 22 degrees C. But now during the summer, it's more like 25 till 28 degrees Celsius. So I might have some jammed uh, extruders in the future. I don't know. But basically, um, printing printing a lot of PLA prints, I don't think I'm going to get them. But then again, this product is aiming for an additional extruder cooling for your enclosed 3D printer. Of course, they advertise for the Bamboo Lab 3D printers, but just think about it. Every kind of 3D printer with the same Bowden tube setup can use this extruder cooler as well. But from the prints that I got, using the additional cooling, I didn't see any difference. I didn't notice any difference. Prints came out pretty nice. I don't have any remarks on that. Like, oh wow, this is even looking better. I used P uh, PLA PEG filaments. Not much of a difference. My environment is steady in temperature. Now with the summer, it's, it can get hotter. But even then, when I was sitting on in the old at, uh, in the old studio, even there I could print, and the temperature were up to 32 degrees Celsius. So back then, I don't have any issues and. I can open the door if I really need to. For who are these extruder coolers from Martillo Tech? If I may guess, if you are this type of guy or girl or man or woman, and you are encountering on your Bumble Labs 3D printer or any 3D printer that has an enclosure and uses basically the same kind of setup, and you have jammed extruders all the time and you cannot figure out why, even though your hot end fan is blowing full time, then I think that this device could help you out with this issue but for me for my environment my printers my things that i do with it i need to be honest and i want to be honest to my viewers and i would say like if it is not needed then don't buy it if you are interested in the martillo tech extruder cooler i will leave the website in the description of this video so you can check it out yourself you can watch uh, several of the videos of, from martillo tech and what they are doing with this extruder cooler so let me know in the comments do you have any extruder issues jammed extruders stuff like that where you might be needing an extruder cooler from martillo tech let me know in the comments